Hey guys, welcome to another episode of winter here in Calgary, Alberta. It's snowing again a little bit, not too much. So it snowed the first time on October. I gotta run across the road. There's an SUV coming. So it snowed the first time on October 1st or 2nd. I think I can't remember and now it's October 9th and it's snowing again as you can see actually it snowed a bit in the days you know between then and now I think it's snowed almost every day actually just a little bit but the past few days was a bit warmer and the snow melted but now it's cold again it's about minus 3 or minus 4 right now and I forgot my gloves, so my hands are <laughs> my hands are freezing. But I want to teach you a word today that's very important. If you come to Canada, you will hear this word a lot. The word is wind chill or wind chill factor. Wind chill. Do you know what wind chill is? Well, basically it means the wind makes everything colder. Okay, so here in Canada in the winter sometimes it's really cold and it's windy as well. Okay, that's usually what a blizzard. A blizzard is when it's like windy and snowing. Okay, but even if it's not snowing, if it's really windy and the temperature is cold, then you will hear the weather forecasters talking about the wind chill factor that can uh, I mean that's a very serious thing you will experience that when you come here so you know right now it's not windy so the wind chill doesn't really make a, a big difference right now the temperature right now is about maybe minus uh, three so with wind chill because it's a little bit windy right now there's a small breeze it's probably about minus six or minus seven okay but very often, when you look, uh, you know, at the weather forecast in the winter here in Canada, you'll see uh, that the temperature might be like minus 20, but with wind chill, it feels like minus 30. Okay, now that's a very serious thing because when the wind, you know, when it's windy, it blows the heat away from your body. That's what wind chill is. Okay, so even though the real temperature might only be let's say minus 20 uh, when the wind you know blows against your body it, it takes the heat away so quickly and it, it feels colder I don't really know how to explain it but it's called wind chill so you'll always see the the, the real temperature and the wind chill factor so you need to pay attention to the wind chill factor because it's, it makes a huge huge difference if it's not windy uh, you know it's so much better but if there's even a slow wind it makes a, a bit of a difference so the wind always makes a difference in the winter it's the same in hot countries as well like in hot countries uh, like India if there's a strong wind and the temperature is more than 40 degrees like more than your body temperature you know then the heat even becomes hotter it's it's crazy I know like you know places in India where they get like dust storms and the temperature is like 45 degrees with high winds I mean that's really dangerous too uh, so the world is so full of extremes here in Canada it's so cold and countries like India and Pakistan they're so hot um, but anyway I just wanted to teach you that word because it's very important so wind chill okay the wind chill factor my fingers are freezing <laughs> and I'm, I'm holding my phone with my other hand so I think I need to stop this video and put my hands back in my pockets because right now they're freezing too much. All right, so I'll see you guys over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.